So this is a Prinolipus imperis colony, also known as the winter ants. Really fast growing colony at this stage. They just a few weeks ago had their first workers. Now there's seven queens in this colony. Um, and you can't see a couple, maybe one or two of them. They're using this brood pile as um, kind of like a tunnel. Um, they're building a tunnel around. So um, you can see one, two, three, four, five, I think five right here. Um, so this colony is really growing fast and it's just amazing to see how they're each day they're kind of filling in their roles. You can see the repletes, um, the fat uh, workers, the ones with the big gasters, they're full of honey. We've been feeding them uh, honey. Um, they had dandelion honey and really took to that and they've also been fed fruit flies which this is my first time trying to feed the species fruit flies um, and they're really taken to those as well they they four or five of them will get around a fruit fly and um, tear it to pieces and lick the juices um, so what I'm doing is I'm feeding the fruit flies whole but smushed and then I'll just kind of drop them and the foraging areas where they're not stuck to a feeding dish or something so they can drag them back into the nest and it's working out really well. Um, so this used to be a huge brood pile is now getting smaller and smaller as all these workers are a closing. Um, they don't have cocoons like the silken cocoons you look and see in it, like Formica species, Campanota species, Lacea species. Um, they actually have what, what's called as exerit pupae and they um, darken and the color gets closer and closer to what you would see as a newborn worker and then all of a sudden you can see it going on here with a couple of these workers they're being uh, woken up so the workers uh, will grab them and start moving them around you can see that one right there just just moving out of view right now um, you can see it right there in, in kind of the center of the screen just a little bit up um, so the workers will grab the uh, worker that's closing at the time and they, they just kind of manipulate their legs and move them around and then slowly you'll start to see the, the worker regain uh, use of its functions and it, and it really just kind of grows up right there in front of your eyes. It's fun to watch. This is what I was talking about earlier where several of the workers will get around a fruit fly that they've drug into the nest and they'll just pull at it and lick the juices. It's fun to watch. It's good to kind of see how that works um, up close. Uh, this is a different camera I've switched to for this video shot so it gets in a little bit closer. Um, so another thing you can see in this picture is <laughs> ants spend a lot of time hanging upside down cleaning themselves. That's why I like these mini hearth formicaria a lot. So we're actually going backwards in time here. Um, this video was taken before the initial few minutes that you were watching there. So you can see a lot of the uh, workers that were in the first video in this shot here. They're darkened up. And then you can also see at the top the repletes, how they're hanging upside down. Mm, it's really cool. It's not quite as pronounced as, say, a honeypot colony where you've got the repletes that can barely even move on their own. So this terrifying little scene here is, this is one of the major benefits of having a camera that you can really get macro shots with. So what they're doing here, they're actually eating one of their workers. Um, this is a little group of workers who have, I don't know if this worker didn't close properly or they just selected it for food prior to it closing. But um, this was what prompted me to start feeding them uh, fruit flies more uh, frequently. So I immediately fed them several fruit flies once I saw that. Uh, just something to look out for. You know, they will eat, you know, what they need to eat um, out of their own colony if, uh, if need be. And these were the first repletes that we saw. Again, we're going back in time here th through the beginning of the colonies, uh, early days of when workers were starting to show up. So um, again, you can see the brew pile growing. There's not quite as many workers at this stage as there were in some of the previous shots, but uh, the, it's 
interesting that there's so many eggs that I see here in my colonies in the past that only had maybe two or three queens you would always see a group of eggs and then they would slowly close until there's no eggs left um, and then after a period of two to three weeks the queen would usually lay another batch of eggs and then those would close and then that would be it for the year and um, they're a really difficult species to raise um, it's not easy at all to get this um, uh, Prenolepis in Paris uh, going in captivity. It's not uncommon to see a colony start off with a group of workers, you know, four or five workers or 10 or 20, if you get a couple of queens. But um, the tricky thing is figuring out what it, what it takes to make them tick after that period of the first year. Now we're going back even further, and this is before um, the, a lot of these workers started to darken it at all and you can't really even see many eggs there's a couple eggs here um, so this is uh, right when the first worker actually closed you can see in the very top left so Prunalapus in Paris is, is a good challenge for people who um, enjoy keeping ants it might be on a little more of an experienced curve um, it's taken me uh, many years of keeping them to figure them out and I've failed with all of my colonies now this colony has two older queens from two years ago or um, so it's a uh, it's something that you can uh, build the colony from year to year um, now this may vary in location there may be some uh, variations uh, depending on where you live I, I don't know um, I just try to experiment doing different things with them. I have been successful at adding s some queens together from uh, different years that they've flown and like I said this has got two queens from two years ago and um, uh, six queens from uh, this year and <clears throat> it's working out really well so far. Um, as you can see this colony started off um, with just two workers and I think that is another reason why they uh, were so successful those two workers made a big difference you can see them climbing all back in there on the brood pile taking care of the the larvae and the pupae and the eggs um, that makes a huge difference because you don't see these queens doing the same thing um, for the most part they're very stationary um, this is what I like to call wiggling gasters they they have this uh, whenever that light gets on them um, for some reason they don't um, don't run away from it but they start doing this gaster waving stuff and it's like uh, some sort of communication between one another um, or maybe it's just a sign they're irritated I don't know 